what you want. Ah! Ah! All the pain, all the laughter, all the fun. Now it's paid off. <laughs> known a lot more for our animal mask. I think we were one of the first kind of one doing a lot of the animal, slaughtered animal stuff, so the mask wise, so. Hi, I'm Brian Blair with Pumpkin Bolt here at the uh, Midwest Haunters Convention. We got into doing some mask making just for fun and it just took off. All I started picking them up, wanting to buy them and uh, yeah, it just took off our vet and now it's full-time business. Well, the funny thing is the first one I did was a hog and I didn't even sculpt it because I went to the butcher store and molded one. <laughs> But uh, then I started sculpting my own stuff, and uh, yeah, I, I do uh, all the sculpting for Pumpkin Pole myself. Um, and I got a, my crew that helps me out. We just take it from there, we mold them, cast them, paint them, and all that stuff. So um, our popular items, uh, the Forevermore dolls are always huge. Everybody loves those. Did you just get it or are you thinking about it? Uh, Favorite one, which one? This guy. Chad Savage. Uh, I am the owner-operator of Sinister Visions, which is a graphic design uh, company. I do uh, logos, websites, posters, tickets, t-shirts, anything visual design for uh, the marketing and promoting of uh, haunted attractions, Halloween businesses, and generally spooky things. And yeah, you told teenage me that this is what I'd be doing for a living. I wouldn't believe it because it's awesome. For instance, Midwest Haunters, uh, I did the t-shirt. I always do the t-shirt. 
uh, built the website, designed the logo, all of the marketing stuff uh, for Transworld in general, for all their shows. Point, I designed that t-shirt. Right there! I've, uh, I've been in uh, haunted houses in Halloween since I was 15 years old. Yeah, when I was 15, I, I was already working and delivering pizzas for, for like a Una Pizza uh, in a local town. And across the street from where I was working was uh, a haunted house. So after, after I got done working my shift that night, I just went over there and just started talking to them. And uh, they were so inviting. Uh, and it was the Newburgh Civitan Haunted House. It's in Evansville, or Newburgh, Indiana, I'm sorry. And I just went over there, and they gave me a tour, and I started working the next weekend. And I never stopped. Everything, I just love puppets. So anything kind of puppet-related, actor-driven, it's all about acting. And all about actor timing, and all about just motion, and puppets, and it's just what I love. So. We are located in Gurney, Illinois. Six Flags Great America. Come join us for Fright Fest. It's fun. Scare acting's a nice time. Bow before your eternal master. Death rises to meet you. This is the Ghost Ride booth. Three, two, one. Hey, Michael with Ghost Ride here. We're at the MAC show in Rosemont. So these are our brand new silhouettes of uh, the sitting thinker. It's our Halloween thinker uh, body. We don't really know what we're calling them. They, they were the last things that went into our booth them together the right way. See the sweep of the shoulders? That's what we're looking for ourselves. And this is one of our giant pumpkins. It's a 400 pound pumpkin casted from a real pumpkin. We shove a bunch of heads in here. Kind of the uh, inspiration was uh, the Johnny Depp Sleepy Hollow where they open up the tree and all the, the heads are in. So, so that's why we love coming here to MAC. We got a lot of feedback from uh, the DIYers, home haunters, and then pro haunts as well. what Zombie Army does? Absolutely. So Zombie Army is a production company that uh, develops a haunted house right now. It is Hell's Gate Haunted House out in Lockport. Um, we also have do like the legacy events. So we do like paintball, a whole, a whole myriad of things. We got our hands in way too many pies, frankly. <laughs>
Um, what maker? <laughs> Genuinely, what maker? This is how I look. Is there something wrong with how I look? Do you think we're ugly? Because actually, we're the finest demon in hell. The finest. One of the characters for the haunt? The haunt, yep. This is our signature character. He's called the Reaper. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, so we're the catacombs. So we're actually uh, the oldest and one of the only actually haunts in the city of Chicago. Uh, we're located in the basement of a church. Um, for 44 years now, we've been open. Um, and we are fully volunteer. Um, everyone that works for us is volunteers and all our money goes back to the school. So this is our check from this year where we uh, donated $65,000 to the school, which goes to help the kids with uh, equipment, computers, and just furthering their education. So so everything we do, we make sure we go back, put back in the community and with the kids. So it's kind of our biggest. We employ team volunteers for our actual ghouls and monsters in our haunt, in our basement. Um, so as you're a teen, you get service hours to do to the haunted house to, to scare people. So I actually started that um, 16 years ago as just a team volunteer. Um, worked my way up and now uh, one of the co-owners and operators of the catacombs. So kind of starting from the bottom and worked way to the top. Here. Midwest Haunted Convention. Hey, you know you shouldn't squeeze, squeeze those blackheads, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it hurts a little bit. <laughs> when did you get that? Just now. Why did you choose that one? Because he's cute. So see the pumpkin spider. flyer mechanism which flies the ghost right now up to about 20 feet but when it's on the ground about 12. Uh, mechanism, these wings flap out and then flap back and forth. That's Kane the candy clown. He has his huge candy cane arms that he smashes together and he talks. Getting into just more manufacturing because uh, I love collecting animatronics that are already made, um, but it's also really fun to design them and build the mechanisms. Uh, and we also run a haunted house, so it's fun to design stuff for that as well, not just for the collection. How are you doing? How did you both get involved with Halloween? Uh, we actually started at a haunted house. You know this place called Distortions? <laughs> and, and they just, you know, making monsters. We watched that like you wouldn't believe. And the tour and we were just hooked ever since. So. We just got in and in, um, into the haunted house uh, with some friends and uh, we did it for about seven years just, and then we started going to Korean world shows and we're like this is exciting we can do this. So we took some classes and just kept building, kept building. So what is 
what's a short description of? Uh, basically, it's just a group of people who uh, we get together throughout the year, um, like do make and take stuff like that. So, like about 200 people yeah. are in the group. Yeah. Uh, Hunt site listing of about 300 now. So people can go around and visit all the hunts when they want. Most of us come uh, open up the 1st of October and stuff, so. Um, I run my own home hunt in Manuka, so I kind of just found it through networking and meeting other people, going to conventions like Midwest Hunters, um, you know, networking, finding out there's this big group and community of hunters, um, Chicago Hunt Builders. Is it pretty dark in there? I'll follow you. Thank you. Nice. I must have your fresh blood. <laughs> Welcome to my cell. You will stay here for all eternity. <laughs> that was red. <laughs> hey!
DJ from Wicked Makers, and I'm here at Midwest Honors Convention getting tons of inspiration for our YouTube channel. As Halloween season approaches, there's like so many awesome things to make. I don't know what, how we're going to decide. We're being flooded with awesome ideas here. There's too many, but I'm really excited. we got a lot of projects going, and uh, we're happy to see you. We're trying to release about one video a month on our YouTube channel right now. We have a lot of people here who recognize the YouTube channel, like a lot of home haunters and DIYers, and it's really fun for us when people come up and say hi and, and tell us that they've been inspired by what we're making because that's why we do it, you know, and, and it kind of confirms that we're on the right path and that we're making stuff that people really like. And Yeah, that's just a print of my original that I have. So. These are airbrush original. Yes, original. And print. Yeah, and then they're just prints of my original. So doing it for about 37 years. So painting for a long time. So yeah. How so did you nice. get into airbrushing horror, like horror and? Well, Halloween it's weird. Stuff. Is growing up as a kid, um, I read Fangoria a lot. And of course, there's no internet. So I'm so freaking old. There's no internet. Um, so when I was about 11, 12 years old. Me and my brother were making masks. So we were just, we found articles in the back of the magazine to buy liquid latex. So we started buying it and making masks. And we were painting them with a paintbrush. And my uncle's like, use an airbrush, it'll look better. I'm like, what's an airbrush? So I went and bought one, started playing with it. And then I read an article about H.R. Geiger. And I seen that you can airbrush on flat surfaces and do the stuff he did. So I quit making masks and started painting, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Or I do westerns, obviously, um, Star Wars, anime. I, I just paint what I love, so it makes it a lot easier just to be. Yeah, that is by far the creepiest painting I've ever done. Love it, but it's creepy. If you actually wanted to watch. Sorry, that's Sonup Shane, Silly Sylvester, Half Face Hank, Wicked and Wild, and Carney Arnie.
<laughs> what am I walking through? This is crazy. <laughs> Love it in a haunted house. house industry for about 15 years. I manage a makeup room for Brimstone and I help with their props and all that and I was sent with St. Rita's and a few others and I'm a paramedic so I do paramedic training with uh, the National Registry. So I started making prosthetics and the props and my daughter's cosplay so I make all their costumes. This is actually only my second big uh, vending event so I just started the Wicked FX company so I thought well might as well enjoy my madness so. <laughs> Almost instantly sold out of my fungus panels because you can make all everything that you see here that I've made, I sell all the stuff to to make it. Where so is that? our fungus panels are underneath. They, this is what I use to make all of our uh, oh, all of that stuff. They're all these are all latex. I sculpt them out. They're foam back, so they're very easy to apply. And all of our, our ice creams are almost gone. These are all 3D printed. We have a 3D print farm where all of that and our keychains and all that. And we do this wholesale for gift shops, and so it's really fun. So I do the sculpting, and my fiance in the pink over there. He does all of the make it all look kind of cool. <laughs> and this is our guy we did today. Oh. <laughs> well, it was out of necessity, to be honest with you. Uh, we have a small haunted house, and we'd come to these shows, and we were just starting out. We were a charity haunt. And so we couldn't quite afford some of the stuff, so I started learning how to make them. And then we use those masks in our haunted house, and they generate these big molds. So having these molds sitting around, it's like, you know, this would be a good way to make money to put back into our haunted house. And maybe people would enjoy it. So started sculpting. I was a police officer for 20 years, so when I'd get off work, I'd go home and sculpt, and it'd help me relax and decompress. And, and I'd kind of get this stuff out of my head, and that's where this all ended up coming from. I've been working on him for a few months. Uh, the idea behind him was a uh, vampire bat-inspired vampire. And after we got done with it, we realized, you know, we could paint this guy green, and he could be an orc. He could be a goblin. We could even put horns on him, put hair, and turn him into a Krampus. I have to say mutant. Oh, you like the mutant the most? Yeah, yeah. How did you get into Halloween? Uh, I've always been into it, but I've, I have my own haunted house up in Wisconsin. A haunt or Yeah, the yeah, these guys oh, are all actors. You. They're all actors. Yeah. Really? They're all actors in the haunt? Yeah. Yeah, my mom and dad help with the putting people into it. And it's cool. I love it. Awesome. This is Elliot, Molly, and then my brother Logan.
Studios now. Uh, Alan needed me to move up a little bit so he could do less now that he's the owner of our tower. Very cool. Did you design this? Yes. I uh, pretty much everything is from scratch or customized. I used to wear the mask on stage, and one of the people that saw me performing asked me to make one for his son. Now, what, six years ago? I've been doing it ever since. The Jason mask, and if I do something more detailed like that, they usually go pretty quick. attraction in Cincinnati, Ohio called All Hallows Eve in Terror Town. So that's what got me really good and being real creative with the skulls and the Ouija boards and hands and all the different things. But I've been making candy for about 18 years. Most popular are the fingers and ears and then the teeth. Those are the like people can grab them real quick and chew on them and bite on them. And everything sells. A lot of people like the brains. It has a surprise inside. Um, and then some of my normal candy, like the sea salt caramels and the caramels, those are usually. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,